your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Now you think our weather's been crazy. Texas, they had tornadoes, as you saw in that video prior to seeing the ice storm there. So uh, they're dealing with all sorts of issues. This is actually the third ice storm to come through in as many days around here. Take a look at this image here. This is live video here on the uh, breeze camera network from the US Space and Rocket Center. 36 degrees in Huntsville, just very poor visibility, getting the higher terrain and it's just foggy out there. 36 degrees. We're gonna have to watch temperatures area wide. We do have a, a new winter weather advisory just extended farther to the east for us as well as southern middle Tennessee. We've got Fayetteville and up towards Lynchburg in this all of Moore County. It's mainly northern limestone County, kind of like last night as you get north of Highway 72. Now, what does this mean? It means right now that colder air is winning out. We're getting reports of sleet and a little freezing rain. We're still not expecting any power outages from this, so that's important, but there are going to be areas of patchy ice. The first area that's going to ice up. If you're just getting home, maybe letting your dogs out. Be aware if you've got sleet on your deck, it's going to be iced up. So be careful of that. 34 degrees in Meridianville and Hazel Green. We're going to have to watch northern Madison County as well. You're not in the advisory, but in and close to the advisory, right? Uh, temperatures just haven't warmed up as much as we thought they would today. We thought we'd be in the low 40s. Now we're in the mid and upper 30s instead. Uh, we still have moisture that continues to come at us. We're looking at the pink color here. That's the combination of sleet and freezing rain. And there's even been reports of sleet in East Limestone and the western parts of Madison County in the Harvest Monrovia area. As we zoom in a little bit closer, we're starting to get a few breaks here and a little bit more. This is rain in Waterloo. But as far as Lauderdale County goes, the worst of it by far is far northwest of Florence, where most of your area is just rain. And this will be critical tonight. The road temperature starting to fall below freezing as you get from Corinth out to the west. But I think you could probably continue this area of blue all the way up to Lawrenceburg. I think we've got some frozen roads here in the far northwest corner of the state in around Pickwick Lake as well. Here's your forecast as we go beyond this. Notice there's a lot more moisture coming through, so this area is going to move across the same area where that Arctic air is kind of stuck. I don't expect it to make it much farther south than it already has, but it's that fine line here between you go from rain to falling into the sleet and the freezing rain category. So as we go through time here, 830 this evening, Still more rain coming from Russellville to Moulton and Huntsville. And once again, we're not talking about freezing rain in the higher terrain here because your temperatures are warmer and that colder air just not making it far enough to the east, but it's making it far enough east into northwest Alabama uh, to be a bit concerned overnight. That advisory goes through nine o'clock in the morning, but it could have similar results to what we had this morning. Meteorologist Eric Burke uh, notified you earlier this morning that they had canceled the winter weather advisory. So we're not expecting a huge impact, but just just enough to continue to watch it. Notice what happens tomorrow as we kind of transition as the, the brunt of this next wave comes through. This will be the final one, <laughs> thankfully. Temperatures in the mid and upper 30s, 9 o'clock in the morning. Widespread heavy rain, one to two inches of rain will be possible over the next 24 hours. This will finally get out of here tomorrow night and behind it, the the Arctic air will finally get pulled down to the south. So patches of black ice a possibility Friday morning and then again Saturday morning. We're going to have some of those cracks in the asphalt, especially if, if, if it's going downhill, then we're going to see patches of ice Saturday morning with temperatures in the mid 20s. So be careful in the morning hours, Friday and Saturday, and of course be careful this evening. And even if you're not dealing with the wintry precipitation, there's still some fog. And by the way, check out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 60s on the way.